Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous video, we have learned some date and time functions. And in today's class, we will cover some more time and date functions. So here are the topics guys. And we will only cover these DAX functions in our today's class. So firstly, we will learn about this day DAX function. So guys, this function is very easy to use and really helpful if you want to fetch the days from the date column. So let's see the practical guys. Go to the data view. And here we can see we have a order date column. And let's suppose I want to fetch out the days under this order date column. So I will add new column from here. And now I rename this column as days. And here I will apply day DAX function. And look at the parameter guys. Only one parameter is here, which is dates. So I will select order date here as a date. And close the bracket and press enter. So we can see guys, our new column has added with only days. If you see here in the order date column, so 01 is day for the January. So you guys can see here it is 01. If you check second cell, which is second February, so you can see here guys, which is second. So in this way, guys, we can use this day DAX function in Power BI to calculate days. And now quickly move to the next DAX function. So the next function is E date. So E date function is really useful to add next upcoming month or previous months in our existing date column in our data set. So let's go to the data view. And again, I will take new column from here. And now I will apply e date function here. So let me rename the column name as a e date. And now I will add my DAX formula. So here are the two parameters guys, which is start date and month. So firstly, I will enter start date. So I am taking order date as a start date. And in second parameter, I will enter one and close the bracket. So let me change the format of this date so that you get better understanding. So here we can see guys, our previous month was January. And after applying this E date formula, our month is Feb. That means January become February, February become March. So in this way, guys, you can change your months. Let's suppose if I take here minus one. So we can see guys, January became December, Feb became January. So if you want to perform such kind of calculations, you can use E date function here. And now move toward the next function which is E month. E month basically stands for end of month. So again go to the data view and let me delete this column first. And I will take new column from here and of month. And here I will enter my DAX which is end of month. So I will select here only order date and close the bracket. And let me again change the date format. So if you click here on this filter button and we can see in January, the last date is 9th of Jan. That's why it displaying 9th January. And if you calculate on February, so the last date of Feb is 16th Feb. So here you guys can also see 16th Feb. In a similar way, the last date of March is 17th March. So if you calculate the sales of 17th March, it will give you the 17th March. I hope guys, now you have clear understanding about this E month DAX function. And now move toward the next DAX function, which is hour. So to calculate such functions like hour, minutes and second, we need time column. So guys, I have created one more table here, which name is time. So let's go to the data view. And here we can see guys, I have only entered times. So guys, 
if i want to fetch out the hour between this time column so we have a dax function guys which name is hour so let me quickly create on this new column and i will simply rename this hour and now i will write my dax function which is hour and here you can see guys we have only one parameter which is date time so i will simply select this time column which is from the timetable and close the bracket so here we can see guys they fetched our hour which is 5 8 11 and so on in a similar way guys if you want to calculate the minutes so you can use minute function here so i will rename this as minutes and now i will write my dax formula and here i will select time which is from the timetable and close the bracket so here we can see guys our minutes has fetched from the time column in a similar way we can also fetch out the seconds so let me rename this seconds and now i will write my dax formula which is second and close the bracket so in this way guys we can fetch our minutes and seconds i hope guys now you have good understanding about this basic date and time dax functions so guys if you want to learn power bi from scratch so we have this youtube channel which name is power bi full course by shubham so i have explained each and every concept in detail under these 50 videos so you guys can learn power bi from scratch and you can also share with your colleagues and friends so that they can easily learn Power BI from this channel. So guys, we also provide paid training session and if someone interested for paid training, you guys can directly connect me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn link is given under the description box. You guys can connect me directly. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Stay connected with us. Keep learning. Keep growing. Thank you so much.